It's been a year since the 2016 election and a year since Republicans were rejoicing at winning majorities that put them in control of both Congress and the White House. Fast forward to this week, the GOP suffering blows in Tuesday's elections, losing ground to the Democrats in what's being seen as a referendum on President Trump and making the Republican push to pass tax reform and demonstrating their ability to govern more important than ever. But the GOP now has an even greater battle ahead. On Thursday, those troubling allegations emerged in the Washington Post against Alabama Republican Senate candidate Roy Moore, accused of sexual contact with a 14-year-old girl decades ago. The allegations graphic in their detail. Accuser Lee Korfman told the Post Moore took off her shirt and pants and removed his clothes. He touched her over her bra and underpants, she says, and guided her hand to touch him over his underwear. Three other women also coming forward, saying that Moore pursued them when they were between 16 and 18 years old. Moore was in his 30s. But the candidate, also known to some as the Ten Commandments judge, has fired back with a strong denial, not only calling the accusations false, but painting this as a smear campaign, blaming the media, the Democrats, the Republican establishment, and the women who accused him. Isn't it strange that after 40 years of constant investigation, people have waited to four weeks prior to the general election to bring their complaints. That's not a coincidence. It's an intentional act to stop campaign. These accusations coming at a watershed moment as more and more individuals come forward to share their stories of sexual harassment or abuse, implicating Harvey Weinstein, Louis C.K., and Kevin Spacey, among others. Now, the question for Republicans in Washington, Alabama, and all across America, how will they respond? Unless the election is delayed, Roy Moore will be on the ballot next month. Will Republicans choose to support a candidate accused of engaging in sexual misconduct with a minor? Will they denounce him and risk losing a key Senate seat? And if he wins, will they count him among their ranks? It's a defining choice. 42 Republican senators have responded to the allegations against Moore, most of them saying if, if the allegations are true, he should step aside. And the White House has echoed that same line as the president travels overseas this week. But Trump is promising further comments after he returns to the U.S. So will we see a more decisive response from the president?